Okay, so in today's video, I want to tell you some things that helped me to become way more confident so that I finally don't have this feeling of insecurity and constant thinking, oh, what would these people think about me? What would these people uh, say? And constantly feeling shy. Again, it's super hard to get to a level at which you truly don't care. But I made some progress that... It, and I saw that it's definitely possible to care at least a bit less. So I want to start with some examples and then the lessons. But before that, if you really want an in-depth plan on how to become more confident and more disciplined, well, hit me up first link in the description. But yeah, I mean, some things that I found for myself that helped a lot with this are one, killing the ego. I mean, I've learned this stuff from Chris, Chris Sturbing way, way better compared to, you know, I heard about this in the past, but he really nailed it down for me in terms of, yeah, you, you got to literally kill the ego. If you do care about what people say about you and you feel shy and all this and that, well, that means you care too much. You have an ego, which I used to have a lot more of as well. And, you know, you think, oh, man, these people are wrong, that they're, they're the problem, uh, you know, it's not my fault or something like this when they talk to you and say that oh you messed up with this and you done you you made this mistake and you don't want to admit it because that ego inside once doesn't want you to feel inferior compared to that other person so it will try to hide these um the truth that you actually made the mistake and it will try to cover it up because it doesn't want to feel inferior so therefore you try to hide, it tries to hide it. But we gotta make sure we kill that ego more and more and more and more. Because it's just not good for us. It's not the truth. And you feel shy and you care too much about what other people think. So a key to this is to have acceptance and to understand that, yeah, I did mess up. And when you actually understand this and say this, man, it's almost like you're free finally. You get out of that cage when you kind of suffocate. You finally almost have a, bre a, a, a breath of fresh air. You feel free. You have mental freedom. And you feel so much better. Now, again, it, this is super hard to, to totally not care. I mean, there's only a few people that actually don't care like, at all about what other people think about them. But it's definitely, definitely possible. I saw for myself and for others that it's definitely possible to care at, at least a lot less about what other people think. Think about you and another thing you can st start doing that I kind of did myself is uh, you got to put some values you got to set set in stone some of your core values so that whatever is uh, outside that in this case the other people's opinions and whatever well that doesn't affect you because it's not part of your values what I mean is you want to get way better in a goal of let's say fitness or entrepreneurship online business or playing an instrument or a, a, a specific career career you want or whatever and you you're really passionate about that thing but you see people maybe uh, as a as friends supposedly or for, even from your family or, or or this and that or other people that you don't know Telling you, oh no, this is a bad idea, what are you doing, look at this person, and uh, trying to, to be better than us, and they're laughing at you or something. You must not care. And you must set some values that, look, I you know, must set them in stone and write them down so that they're clear. And literally put them somewhere where you can see them if you're in this stage that you truly need to, to focus on fixing this. Maybe put them on your phone or on the on the, on uh, your wallpaper or something or, or on your home screen as a note like part like my values for example right and you put there for example part of my part of my values is that I don't care about what other people that don't support me think I only embrace and I only accept people in my circle that are supportive of me and that are encouraging me to keep going with my goals and what and. It sounds simple, but but you basically got got to really really nail down and understand these things because if not, it's almost like you have no filter. It's it's all this mess up in your brain, right? We gotta set the standard 
and and say, okay, these people are not part of my tribe. They're not my true friends. And even if they're, they're part of the family, you kind of get away from them or at least in that aspect. And you surround yourself more with the people that are more supportive of you, you know? And you set these values in place. And when you do, you know yourself better also. Because if you don't know yourself that good, if you don't know if you don't know what you stand for, you don't know your values, your core beliefs, or your um, if you don't stand up for your dreams and goals and this and that, and I mean, you will obviously feel way more insecure when other people try to criticize you. But when you do know your values, your beliefs, what you go, want to go after, and you surround yourself with at least a, some people that have that that are supportive of you, well, obviously you'll feel way better, and you won't be as affected by these pe by these other people that criticize you perhaps right and again i'm not at the top pinnacle of this but i made some progress and i saw that okay it is possible so everybody can do that what else to tell God, what else to talk to them about and another thing is it will feel very hard at the beginning perhaps or at least to, to some degree but the more you do it you'll realize oh yeah this is not actually that hard it's actually kind of simple because it might be hard for you to accept the fact that, okay, I I made this mistake. It's my fault. Because it hurts, you know? But once you do start accepting that, that's a way higher frequency state. You start to feel freedom. Like, yeah, I have nothing to hide. It's my mistake. I accept it. And I'll get better with it. And it's finally you're accepting the truth and then going and fixing it. Instead of trying to hide the fact that you made a mistake and really indulge in that ego, trying to make yourself not look bad. But we all know we have all had those arguments when you when you know you're wrong, but but the, and the other person is telling you, you know you did this and that, and you, know, and you you know you're wrong, but you constantly try to trash them and talk bad stuff about them, like no, you did you you did this, you that you did that thing. But the solution is you just accept that and you become way more confident. You feel way more secure and have way more also self-trust and self-respect. Because if you try to hide all this, the fact that you made a mistake, well, obviously, how can you trust yourself as good, right? If you, you will trust yourself more and have more confidence, therefore, if you accept the truth and say that, yeah, this is my fault. Instead of trying to hide it. The person who hides it won't have as much confidence. Because they don't trust themselves as much. Because it's, they know intrinsically it's the truth. That they made a mistake. But they try to hide it and say that's not true. But you cannot lie to your to yourself. So you your confidence and self-trust and self-respect will get lower. If you don't accept the fact that you made a mistake. In, in the case that you, you you done that, right? So accept that. And then of course fix it. Another thing I learned from Chris Sturmey was this thing of imagining, well, what's the worst thing that can happen in terms of if these people criticize you? Well, what's the worst that can happen? They can just say, they can, they, they can just simply not agree with your dreams and beliefs and this and that. But it's not the end of the world. You still feel fine. And you'll actually see that, oh yeah, it was not the... It was not impossible to go through that event. It was not. It was not the end of the world. Is if this person from even from your family or something criticizes you and doesn't like your dreams and goals and this and that. You working on that career, business, physique, trying to be you know healthier, better, and uh, therefore they you know feel attacked or something. That oh, well he's training, he's getting in better shape, but I'm not, so they feel offended. And they try to criticize you for for that, or for a thing that they don't understand. Like many people with, with like with many people criticize online businesses because you know they didn't grow with that stuff and and all that, and they think it's risky or this and that, which it might be. But point is, it's possible. You visualize the worst case scenario, and you realize, oh yeah, it's not actually that bad. And that gives you more mental peace, more mental freedom, and it's a really good feeling because you finally break the chain and you're free you're not attached to this negative emotion constantly and to be honest perhaps 8 70 80 90 percent of our thoughts automatically might be negative for the day 
Perhaps. There's a bunch of negative thoughts coming. Maybe not 80%, 50, 80, 90, but whatever it is. When you do break this chain and, and, and visualize the worst case consequence, uh, the worst case scenario, you realize, oh yeah, it's not, not actually that bad. And you have that acceptance also of the, of the mistakes you've done. And you realize, okay, it's not the end of the world. I can fix it, no problem. I accept that. It's my fault. When you do all this and you set some values in place also, you just break this chain of you can, being connected with negative emotions. You just break that and you're free now, finally, to have freedom. And you, you have that breath of fresh air, almost. Instead of being in that in that cage, in a, in a prison, suffoca suffocating. Now you're finally free, you have a... You have almost air, you feel good, you, f you feel finally like you don't have that shyness, you feel so good, and I want you guys to, to experience that because it feels so, so good to finally not have those worries, to finally not have those negative emotions constantly. It's so much better if you do indeed ha make this confidence leap. It it's so good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Some lessons I've learned over time that helped me a lot to implement them. You'll, your confidence will skyrocket. And watch more videos with the stuff that I teach that helped me. It's massive. Super excited about all this content. I mean, because it helps me a lot, I know that it will help you. You just got to put the action in. It's not that hard. Just implement these, these steps and over time, it, it'll, it will skyrocket, man. Your confidence, your discipline and all that. And if you want a more in-depth plan on this, Check first link in the description and also check the Discord server to join the community with more guys on the same path. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.